Now to a wild shootout on the streets of South Florida. The families of the people killed in the crossfire here are expressing their outrage over how police handled this situation. ABC's Victor Okendo is in Coral Gables, Florida with much more. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Dan. This is where it all started with a botched robbery here at this jewelry store and a shootout with the owner. A few minutes later, those suspects would hijack that UPS truck and the chase was on. We've all seen how it ended and now the heartbroken families want answers. This morning, devastating details about the dramatic chase and shootout that left four people dead on this busy South Florida intersection. While the FBI investigates, the victims' families are outraged at the police response. 27-year-old Frank Ordonez was covering another UPS driver's route Thursday afternoon when these two suspects, Lamar Alexander and Ronnie Jerome Hill, allegedly tried robbing this jewelry store, then hijacked Ordonez's truck and took him hostage. They drove more than 20 miles up the Florida Turnpike in Interstate 75 and then local streets, the suspects firing back at an armada of police before finally getting stuck in traffic in Miramar. At least 13 officers opening fire. In the end, four people were dead. The two suspects, 70-year-old Richard Cutshaw, who was in his car nearby, survived by his 99-year-old mother, as well as five brothers and sisters, and Ordonez, who leaves behind two young daughters. What does the family want? Justice. Ordonez's stepfather believes officers mishandled the situation and are responsible for his death. He was murdered. He was murdered. He was murdered. What else can you call it? It's unclear if the two were killed by the suspects or by police fire. The Miami-Dade police director offering condolences to the families and promising a full investigation. The people responsible for this action, for this result, are the two gentlemen that decided to enter that store and commit this violent crime. And as they investigate, the FBI will be looking at a number of things like protocol and who fired first. Still so many questions for law enforcement. Eva? Thinking of those families this morning. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.